yeah, there was pain, but you know, there's pain in a lot of things in life. The challenge is to take that, learn the lessons, and move on and have a better life in the, you know, afterwards. The goal was to stop the flow of weapons and materials into the South Vietnam from the North. The people around the ferry that protected the ferry started shooting at us. So we had this multi-million dollar F-4 attacking these guns on the ground and uh, evidently one of them hit us. There was a lot of flak and evidently one hit it and it blew our plane up and uh, we had to jump out before it hit the ground and came right down right amongst all those gunners on the ground. It was like landing right in the middle of a hornet's nest. Up to that point I was following my training just doing you know, by the numbers, so to speak. But then I got scared because now I'm stripped away of all the pretense of my uniform and my 38 revolver and my knife and all that stuff. And uh, I'm all alone in enemy hands. So you're just kind of hanging on, hanging on. Initially, I could only handle that I was going to be there six months. That's all I could handle. I'm going to be out here by next summer. Go to the Olympics, 68 Olympics, Mexico City, I'll be there. But it was more than another year. It was uh, four more years. <laughs> I spent a lot of time um, on projects, like trying to remember. Once uh, in the early years, I spent two days remembering everybody in my eighth grade class and which class, in science class, and which seat they sat in took me two days, but I did it. And it was amazing. It was amazing what we could remember. There, we had to, we had to face those interrogators head on and say no. And they're threatening us with war crimes trials and torture, and sometimes we were tortured. But you just kept saying no as long as you could. And then when you said yes, you still didn't give them what they wanted. You figured out some way to mess it up and not give them what they wanted. So to stay in that battle, most every situation, I look back and I say, I did my best. I did the right, the best I could have done at the time, knowing what I know now, you know. And I can see a few mistakes, but I learned from those. You know, you learn from mistakes, so I got better as a result of the mistakes I made. So I don't even regret them, because they, they whittled me down to, you know, the better, and I still make mistakes. I'm still learning from them. I'm a slow learner. My wife will tell you that. <laughs>